Right, so I got this variator pulley off in the end. Took quite a bit of doing, because <coughs> this wouldn't pull off the shaft. Well, I don't know, I couldn't pull it off the shaft. I didn't have a puller big enough for it. But because this it has to come out where the bearing is housed in, um, I just unbolted that. It was a bit tight on this collar, but I managed to get the whole thing out. And I figured I could use the press to get that sh variator off of that shaft. Well, it's quite tight and I've had to Heath Robinson this up a bit because uh, uh, this collar is too big to fit through my press. I mean, it's a 30 ton press, but obviously I need one perhaps a bit bigger, but it should press out okay. So we'll find out. It's all set up. If anything goes wrong, these are just underneath it to catch it. So nothing should break, fingers crossed, hopefully. I might put something under there to cushion if it just happens to drop rapidly. Actually, that's a good idea. I'll put something, I'll put a cushion under there. I'll put an actual cushion. There's an old settee in here. I believe. Yeah. Well, it has been run over with a forklift. Yeah. That's a great idea. So I've had to move the press outside so I can use the forklift, but I think it all looks all right. So we're gonna press now and see what happens. All right, perhaps I should have filmed that because uh, it got up to 12 ton. I was a bit worried. I'd never have pulled that off with a puller. Uh, but it's coming out now. This is so easy compared to a puller. Uh, it's only just registering now. Right. Man, that's easy compared to... I love, the, I love this press. It's brilliant. That collar come off now. Yeah. That's a spacer of some sort, apparently. All right. Put, put one of them probe things on and push that a bit more. But that's coming off there easy now. Brilliant. And then I've got, a, once, once I've done that, I can take that away and put that in the press and press that out. Um, I don't use it very often, but this press is so easy for doing stuff. Should have got one years ago. It's quite new. I've only had it a bit over a couple of years. Brilliant. Okay, the whole thing's off. Thank goodness. <coughs> um, ah, yeah, that was it. Uh, so... Uh, Yep, that's no problem. Now, this, look. So, I think we can safely say that was heading for trouble. The the thing that holds the balls in place is knackered, and I think... I don't know, there might not be a ball missing. They just... I mean, that's a fire waiting to happen. Or... That lets go, and... This starts flying about everywhere. Either way, only bad things could have happened if I hadn't spotted that. So we'll release this uh, circlip, press this shaft out of this bearing, and then press the bearings out of this housing, and I'll put two new bearings in it. Well, we've pretty much done it now, so good news.